Hey folks, it's Rob from Rob's Movie Collection. Uh, one of my subscribers, Stefan Hamburger, did a uh, top 25 celebrity crushes uh, in honor of Valentine's Day, and I thought that was a pretty good idea. Uh, pretty good list, too. Uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. Seems like a lot of fun, so I told him that uh, I would do uh, uh, my lists in response, and I'll make a video of that. Uh, my videos are at the most 15 minutes long, so I'm probably going to make uh, this in two parts. I know I can set it for longer, but I like to keep it at 15, uh, so people won't, won't, uh, have to sit there too much. Although I have a feeling that it's not going to be too hard to get you guys to watch this, given that it's going to be full of pictures of beautiful women. So, uh, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, I thought I'd get that started. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to put a link down in the description, in the descriptions down there to, uh, to his original video so you can check it out. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good list and, you know, can respond to it and give your own, uh, list of 25 celebrity crushes. That's always interesting to, to see. Okay. So, um, let's start out with mine at, uh, number 25. I have Tamlin Tomita. Now, Tamlin Tomita I first saw in the Karate Kid part two and, oh God, I just thought she was so beautiful and, uh, she was just gorgeous, this gorgeous actress who uh, then later went on to play uh, in the uh, uh, Joy Luck Club and, and so many other movies. And uh, I was, boy, I never felt uh, more envy for the character of Daniel LaRusso than I did <laughs> during that movie. I saw that movie many times in the theater. Uh, sure, it was a good movie and all, but I think partly it had to do with her. And then, of course, you had the P Peter Cetera song, The Glory of Love. Like, it was very corny, but she was just beautiful, and I would have loved to have been in his position. Uh, so yeah, Tamlin Tomita is just, just beautiful. Next up I have Tina Fey from, uh, SNL and 30 Rock. Uh, I have a thing for funny women. I don't know what it is. I just, I've always been attracted to, uh, to women who are funny. And Tina Fey certainly is one of the funniest, starting off on SNL and then, uh, moving on to, uh, 30 Rock and... And she's a great writer, and she's she's beautiful and sexy, and uh, but at the same time she's not afraid to uh, to look kind of silly when she needs to. She certainly did a lot of that on SNL, and uh, she's uh, she doesn't brag, and that's one of the things that makes her very attractive. And she's very honest in, in her humor, uh, so I really really enjoy her uh, her acting and her uh, her writing a lot. Next at number 23, I have Lindsay Wagner. Yes, the bionic woman from the 70s. Uh, I loved The Six Million Dollar Man, and The Bionic Woman was a spin off of that show. And you had Lindsay Wagner here, who was just so beautiful and just had the greatest personality. And she just did a great job in this role and, uh, and did it some other roles as well. But uh, I'll always remember her as Jamie Summers, the bionic woman. And. Uh, uh, she always had a, a great personality on the show, and the character had a great personality, and, and uh, just did a great job having to run around and, and you know, do all the jumping and all the stuff that you had to do on that show, and just still looked uh, wonderful doing it, and it was uh, very personable on the show, and very great character to have. I wish it actually had gone on for a little longer, but uh, just a, a wonderful role for her, and a uh, big crush on, on Miss Wagner there. At 22, I've got Rashida Jones. I've got a thing, I think I have a type, a thing for uh, brunettes, there's a lot of brunettes on this list, but kind of short, pretty brunettes that are kind of quirky and uh, a little bit uh, awkward at times. Uh, Rashida Jones is just so beautiful and uh, just a, a really good comedic actress and I loved her in Parks and Rec and, and currently she's on that uh, Angie Tribeca and and just doing some a lot of wacky things and in the movie she plays a lot of... Uh, uh, girlfriends and stuff, and uh, but uh, she just she did a great job on on, uh, on Parks and Rec. I always liked it when her character got a little extreme and kind of lost a little control. Because she really showed her comedic chops and definitely shown it on Angie Tribeca, and uh, uh, just some of the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen as well. So uh, yeah, Rashida Jones is great. At number twenty one, I have Bonnie Hunt. My ex used to tease me a lot about Bonnie Hunt. Uh, I don't know what it is about Bonnie Hunt. I mean, part of it is also that she's she's very funny. She, uh, I like her comedic acting and her writing. Um, and of course, uh, in Jumanji, she was uh, in that one as well with Robin Williams. And I just uh, I just thought she was great, and uh, I still think she's great, and just find her very attractive. And uh, yeah, she definitely it was great. And, and I even watched her talk show. I just thought she was very very funny. 
At 20, I've got Caroline Monroe. Talk about sexy and uh, sultry here. This is Caroline Monroe, this actress that was in a lot of the Hammer movies. Uh, I first saw her in Golden Voyage of Sinbad. Uh, as I believe her name was Mariana. Uh, she was the girl with the eye and tattoo on her hand. Uh, and then, of course, in uh, The Spy Who Loved Me as Naomi, the uh, chopper pilot that was trying to kill James Bond. And uh, Boy, if you got to have somebody after you that wants to kill you there, there you go. That's, that's who you want to have. She was just beautiful, and uh, she did this great movie called Star Crash as well that i got to talk about at some point because it's just, it's just great. And, uh, yeah, I just uh, she's just beautiful and, and always fun to watch in, in these movies. And, uh, yeah, she's got quite a cult following going there, and uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if uh, I, I wasn't the only one that had her on a, on a list, uh, on one of these lists. So, yeah, check out Caroline Monroe if you don't know her. At 19, I've got Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock, what can you say? You know, what, she's a great actress, great comedic actress. Uh, can do drama, can do comedy, and is just beautiful. And uh, I remember, uh, I think for me, the first time I, I became aware of her was around Speed and uh, and uh, and Demolition Man. I always liked her in Demolition Man. She had a kind of a cute character there. Uh, but uh, I really fell in love with her in, uh, while you were sleeping because she was just so vulnerable and cute in that one and just uh, and you just uh, really wanted to just take her in your arms and just you know hug her <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, of course all those other movies and Miss Congeniality and all that and she can go from being that to being the, the hard ass boss in The Proposal you know and then of course her dramatic turn like in The Blind Side so uh, I always uh, I always enjoy her movies. Uh, I've seen a lot of her movies. Uh, sometimes I'm not even interested in the subject matter, but she's just because she's in it. Hey, that's enough for me. So, uh, yeah, I definitely love Sandra Bullock. At number 18, I got Elizabeth Hurley. What the hell is up with Hugh Grant to let Elizabeth Hurley go? And didn't even really let her go because they're still pal around a lot, and I, you know, so, but uh, I can't really blame him for that because. Uh, talk about sexy and beautiful, and uh, and uh, she was uh, she was just fantastic as the devil in, in Bedazzled. I thought she was she was very good. Uh, if anybody can play the devil and <laughs> make him sexy, and and it would be her. And of course, her turn in Austin Powers is great. I was actually very disappointed when Austin Powers two came out and she wasn't in it, uh, or at least just a little cameo at the beginning. But uh, I would have preferred to have her in it. Uh, the more Elizabeth Hurley, the better. At number 17, Olivia Newton-John. Oh my God, when Grease came out, you know, I was already kind of aware of her, but uh, when Grease came out, we just fell in love with Sandy. I mean, just, she was so wonderful in that movie and just, you know, and just great music. Uh, she was one of my favorite artists from the 70s and 80s and uh, uh, I just, uh, she was just so sweet. And she seems like she's really sweet. I mean, of course, don't be so one-dimensional, but... Uh, but yeah, just anytime she did anything and appeared in anything in her videos, I remember her physical video at the time when she tried to, when she cut her hair and everybody was like, oh my God, she cut her hair. Well, I thought she looked cute. And then she did this uh, video for, for uh, physical where she's working out with these uh, heavy guys. And that uh, was very funny. And of course, uh, she was also in Xanadu and uh, just just great. And just, uh, I love, love uh, my boss and I actually have that in common. We both... Uh, really into Olivia Newton-John. And can you blame us? At 16, I got Fran Drescher. Uh, I love Fran Drescher. I think she's hilarious. Uh, she, you know, she pretty much has, she's a one-trick pony in terms of that. I mean, she's always plays the, uh, the funny, extreme uh, Jewish girl. Uh, but uh, she does it well, and uh, I always thought the nanny was hilarious, and, and she was just very good, and you really... You really want. She was so sweet, and you really wanted her to get together with, uh, with uh, the boss there, with uh, Mr. Sheffield. And uh, she's beautiful and sexy, and she's been through a lot. You know, you hear about her stories and how she was. Uh, there was a break-in in her house, and she was raped, and then she, later she got cancer, and she still managed just to have a pretty good attitude, and uh, that's pretty great. Oh, and her husband turned out to be gay, and all that. <laughs> just you know, a lot of hits there, but. Uh, I just always like the way she's positive, and, and like I say, she's beautiful and just gorgeous, and all those uh, fashions that she wore on the show, and it was great, and she was just funny. 
you know, just really funny, and I always enjoyed watching her show. So definitely loved, uh, I love Fran Drescher. At number 15, I've got Danica McKellar. That's right, Winnie Cooper from uh, The Wonder Years. Uh, she was always cute, but boy, she grew up to be just super cute and kind of sexy, too. I mean, uh, you know, she started off on The Wonder Years, and she was this uh, sweet brunette, you know. Uh, and uh, she was great. And then this happened. <laughs> it's like, whoa, what the heck? <laughs> Winnie Cooper. But uh, but still somehow manages to be sweet and smart as a whip because she's a math whiz. Who knew? Uh, so uh, just uh, yeah, just beautiful, beautiful girl. And uh, and enjoy her. I, I actually wish uh, she would get a series or something because uh, um, I think she could uh, do do some good work. And we never get to see her in anything except little, you know. Uh, TV movies and guest appearances and the Big Bang Theory and that sort of thing. Although, you know, I'm sure she's busy with the math thing as well, so and that's kind of important as well. But uh, yeah, definitely love Danica McKellar. At number 14, we got Jennifer Love Hewitt. Ah, J Love. Uh, this girl is so so beautiful, and she's a uh, She's one of those people that smiles with her eyes, and I always think that that's just really wonderful. I mean, when she gives those big smiles, you just see it in, in her eyes and her and her uh, mouth as well. And uh, I enjoy uh, I enjoy it on the on the Ghost Whisper, and uh, always uh, watch that show from time to time when I can catch it because I never seem to be able to know when it's on. But I thought she was pretty good in that. Uh, I loved her in Heartbreakers. I thought that was a very funny movie. And uh, yeah, really enjoy her stuff. And even even like you know when she's criticized for being overweight, which she's not, uh, she still kind of holds it together pretty well and doesn't really care what people are saying. And she's funny. I was here on Conan or, or Craig Ferguson or something like that. Uh, she's fun to watch and uh, good interviews. So yeah, I always enjoy it. And uh, I think that last show she had where she played a call girl, I didn't even have the channel for that. Otherwise, I definitely would have watched that. But uh, I always look forward to the next thing that uh, she does. Next up at 13, I've got Susan Sarandon. Uh, still beautiful after all these years. Uh, she started off back in the, I believe, 70s. Uh, I remember her from the Rocky Horror Picture Show and so many movies since then, and Thelma and Louise and Paul Durham. And uh, I remember seeing her in The Great Waldo Pepper, too, with Robert Redford. Uh, of course, she's, she's just beautiful and gorgeous and this is an example of, a, a, of an older woman in her, what, 60s now and still looking just amazing and, and beautiful and sexy. Sexy as hell. Uh, 